Hello, hello everyone. So, there is a brand new dragon that has been revealed through the DML Wiki's image file section and he's pretty adorable. So this is the little snow pelt dragon as far as we're aware for now and this is the baby form. He looks, you know, like a pretty standard icy slash, you know, fluffy little dragon that would sort of live in the mountains. And then we've got his adult form here as well. He's almost like a I don't know, a mini yeti, if that makes sense. But either way, I really like the contrast on him because he has like golden scales on his back, which I actually think looks pretty neat. So I'm not sure if we have the elements for this dragon quite yet, but you know, we've had the, the new ice feather dragon coming out and now we're getting even more snowy dragons. So I guess they're continuing on with the winter theme for now and they're is his beautiful little egg as well. So that is the new snow pelt dragon. And of course, we've got that new ice feather dragon in game where if we get to tier 10, we can unlock the dragon. But look at his baby form. He looks so angry. I'm in love. He's just so miffed about something. It's like, oh God, it stinks in here. Like, I, I don't know what his problem is, but either way, this is like the most pissed off baby I have ever seen. And I like it. I like it a lot. And then, of course, we have the adult version, which also looks absolutely amazing. This guy looks super cool. He almost looks like a Spyro dragon to me. I think it's mostly the horns that are doing that because they are huge. And then he has the biggest eye bronze I have ever seen in my life. Like... The baby was already angry enough with his eyebrows and then the adult goes whoosh! So... <laughs> I like how that's what I see in this dragon. But you know, I actually think he looks better in the image file than he does in game. And normally it's the other way around because normally in game, you know, they've got cool animations and stuff. But this guy just looks absolutely sick. I love this ice feather dragon so much. Even his egg looks kinda, you know, spooky in a sense. So. Those are the new image files that have been posted up on the DML wiki. Of course, you can go and look at them yourself. And plus, you know, there's all the old images of the Borealis, the Quartern, pine cones, and stuff like that. So you can go and check them out if you want to. And just in case anyone has not heard the news quite yet, the Meteorite Dragon is coming as the next Dragon of the Week on Monday. And the combination is going to be the Salamander and Eel Dragons, as you can sort of see from this tiny image right here. The only problem with this breed is that, um, well, there are a lot of possible outcomes for it. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I believe, which is quite a lot for a Dragon of the Week. Like, what is that about? I don't know. The Meteorite's been here quite a few times, and it looks like they're giving us a difficult breed this time around. No shared breeding time, though, so, you know, take one positive out of everything. So... That is all the new news that we have currently. The whale mark kind of sucked this week, apart from the VIP tickets. I had, did hear that some people got some dragon tickets as well, but um, not for me. All that we got was a couple of days of VIP, which I'm not moaning about. I don't mind free VIP, but it is 2.20 a.m. I don't know why I'm still alive, uh, alive, awake. Uh, okay, that, that took a very somber turn, but... I'm not going to keep you too long on ramble like I usually do. So for now, I hope you enjoyed looking at these new dragons. Let me know if you've got anything going on in game and let me know what tier you're on in the solo event. So thank you for joining me and until next time, I shall see you then.